We're here in Chile, about 200 kilometers south of Santiago, and we're in the Cordillera of the Andes, right by Volcán Descabezado Grande. This is an area of large volcanism, which we're interested in to study. It's a great place to study volcanism because everything is still here as if it happened yesterday. And we can look at all the deposits in great detail. When we look around here, we see in the background, we do see Descabezado Grande, which is the, the big volcano here in the area. It can be seen all the way down from the Panamericana. And it is covered partially. And in the foreground, you can see all this, bay, uh, this tan colored um, deposits. This is all 1932 explosive eruptions, that the, the explosive eruption we are studying. And it covers not just this area that you see here, but it covers an area that is still 20 by 50 kilometers or so in extent. And it's an eruption that really has, has changed this landscape for, for a century, basically. It's barren nature, it's sometimes harsh, but you really feel like you can see all the processes right before your eyes. And in some ways, of course, this landscape has a beauty of its own. There is different kinds of volcanism that uh, we can look at here. There is very explosive uh, eruptions, the largest eruption in, in historic times of Chile. And then there is also uh, effusive, so-called effusive eruptions, lava flows that are um, the more, much more quiet and less dangerous. Explosive eruptions are typically more dangerous because they transport a lot of the ash over large distances. And then on top of that, you sometimes have very hot density currents, very hot uh, flows that are coming off of these explosive eruptions that can burn both the landscape as well as the people, actually. Volcanoes are among the most dangerous natural hazards we have. They really present uh, specifically hazards if, if towns are nearby, because then these can be these heavily affected. Um, typically by these hot density currents or by the ash, falling ash that is uh, covering, covering the infrastructure and actually destroying a lot of the infrastructure. Kizapu is the, the actual volcano we are we're studying and it is quite interesting because it has these two different types of eruptions, very benign lava flows as well as explosive Plinian eruptions. This, the eruption that took place here in 1932 is uh, somewhat similar to the Vesuvius eruption that is very famous. People sometimes know of these mummies from Pompeii, and those were a response to hot density currents. We want to understand what drives the volcano to behave in one way or in the other way. Uh, what, what are the processes that are happening below the volcano that may shift the behavior. Our group is quite diverse. We have students here from Chile as well as uh, students from the US and postdocs from the United States. I think those students are getting a great experience in terms of all the volcanic processes that we are familiar with and really seeing them in action and seeing them in place. And they have seen already a, a huge diversity of things associated with volcanism. Thank you.